Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 2 of the group stage and it starts without a bang as we have SKT versus RNG. Two teams that are always destined to go against each other every time they're in Worlds and two teams that has two of the best players in the world with Faker and Uzi. If you watched that hype video, I'm sure everyone is truly hyped for this matchup. And both teams are currently 1-0 right now in their groups. And surely we will see an exciting game from these two. And looking at the team comps, we have been gifted a TF pick from the god himself and a comfort pick of Zoe for Shahu. SKT has a better team fighting team, while RNG is good for getting picks. Teddy is an Ezreal god and Zaya is a champion that Uzi plays all the time. So we shall see some nice plays from these two, but this game should be great. We have the best casters for this game, and let's get on to it. Let's go SKT! The top lane, once that level 6 comes through, and RNG gonna run out with Xiao Hu's Zoe. With this very special champion. Sometimes you can forget how frustrating it is to play against a good Zoe, but just watch yourself a Xiao Hu game or two, and you will instantly be wouldn't have that tool available to use. Karsa also hanging out down here, just waiting to see if SKT are going to try to make some kind of a move. Twisted Fate ulti coming out now. RNG trying to get themselves away. They could be in some trouble, but now it's going to be Faker. He's first blooded, and a hook has found a second. Clint's going to be going down here, but it looks like the TP into the back from Khan may be the saving grace. Longxing has extended himself far into the SKT lines, and he too will now retreat. Paddle oh, Star in. nearly finding the kill onto Teddy. Khan getting himself away. Uzi goes into the oh. Feather Storm, keeping himself alive. Not at the end of the day. It's a one for one. Xiao Hu going to be grabbing the kill onto Effort. And this the isn't play done yet. Is not yet over. Explosive cast comes down. Khan's kept alive. Finally falling to Xiao Hu, but yet another one for one. Punish Baker with his gold advantage. Bottom side, Mingo oh, to get hook. another hook. And that one's going to be a gray screen for effort. Good aim from me. Will they say, okay, you take bot, we'll take mid. And then, as the Lee Sin matches, they go in bot. Beautiful pickoff. And there we go. Shut down on to Uzi as the plays are going to continue. Ming now in some trouble. They can't find even a single kill. And they lose to SKT. Make the play. That SKT needed the lead in the gold right now because of the Twisted Fate passive and Kleptomancy. But this game is still very even. Second Infernal is so big here. Chow Hu is going to get himself grabbed. Clan's going to be keeping him safe. But effort is immediately deleted yet again. Ming has got his number this game. More and more chances for them to walk out with a win here as Kars is on to that second Infernal. Second Infernal is so important for RNG as well. You can see that their comp does scale quite well with the Zaya. Oh, Chow Hu! Got him! Who nearly got Faker, who flashes over the wall. I think wall. he's got him. Oh, he may burn he's got him now. The stopwatch. Oh. He walks away from the trouble bubble, and Faker is what? kept alive, and Chow Hu is baited into a death mid lane. Side, it's all going in favor of SKT. And while we did see that last replay, ooh, it looks like we're getting a fight. Ming's going in underneath the turret. He'll be soaking the aggro. Faker's got no stopwatch anymore. And that's another kill for RNG. Is doing proactive plays on their side of the map. Whereas SKT, it doesn't quite look like they are. If they get this play, though, it's big. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. There we go. Sure. That, that took the words right out of my mouth. You know what SKT needs to do? It's a game priority, and now they're the ones starting it off. Twisted Fate is on his way. We'll have the ultimate. Pops it. Here we go. For the steal. Faulty is out. He's, He's stolen. Gonna be stolen by SKT, but now where is the fight going to go? Efforts there on the front line. Karsa able to find the kick onto Khan into the rest of RNG. Faker's going to be in there on the backside as well. Uzi finding the damage in onto Khan. Ooh. RNG is still going to be kept alive, but the health bars are critically low. Faker's after Uzi, but he won't be able to find him just yet. Faker's stumbling away, but he's the only man left standing. Karsa and Longxing are after him. Sonic Wave will not find the mark, but the pursuit oh. continues. Karsa is stopped in his tracks, but Longxing oh. continues the chase. The Claw will not find the mark, and oh. Faker hands him a card <laughs> and walks away. RNG will not find the ace, but they still found four kills onto SKT. So which stat will be greater on the day? RNG. Well, SKT wants that. to fight this. Here we go. RNG is going to play, but this is a nice cast. Uzi's going to be in some trouble. He's the first one dead. Glitch trying to get himself away. Longxing is in the middle of everybody in this fight. He's going to be taken very low. Khan barely going to be kept alive, getting himself out now as well. And SKT have got the fight. The map 
pushing into each of these lanes. Oh, look Efforts out. in some trouble yet again, though. Remember, I said Ming had his number earlier. Well, punch that ticket yet again. Very rough game for Effort outside of one great hook in the bottom lane. Here comes SKT, though. SKT making the moves, making the plays, and Faker is on a killing spree. RNG looking Shut to down. take him down, though, and that's Karsa getting the shutdown. Lung Shing going in on Quid. He's put him into the death realm. The stasis will buy a moment's time, but what else are you going to do? Quid's drowsy, and he's taking a long nap now. Khan's trying to make some sort of a move happen, but he's turned into a pair of alligator boots. Shut down over to Uzi, and RNG strike back. In a full-on 5v5, RNG should be stronger, so SKT needs to look for picks like this. SKT are trying to make the move on to Long Xing, but have the, however, the Death Realm seems to have been summoned. Will it be able to survive? No, he will not. Khan's grabbing the kill. Karsa goes SKT's in now. Here. Xiao Hu's also there. Klin's coming out, keeping the mid laner alive. Cass goes through. Xiao Hu not going to be knocked at the right angle. Uzi having to pop the QSS as well. SKT have found one, but what will they do from here? And then SKT can easily just teleport back to the Baron Pit after they the spent flank. Look at the there. flank. Now they're just going to fight 5v5. Bond wants to come in from the side. Faker's looking to make some kind of a move here off the side. Xiao Hu's in some trouble. Clint's going to blow him up. Effort now going to be run down here in the mid lane, but Khan's able to come in from the side. Uzi going on a rampage. Faker's going to be taken down now. Double kill over to Uzi. And SKT fall apart. Uzi's got exactly what they've been giving him. He's got the money. He's got the damage. He's got the triple kill. And RNG once again find another successful fight. Is just out executing SKT in fights that SKT is choosing to take. Oh, oh, oh. oh they can just, set on uh, Long Jing. Long Jing. They can kill him. Long Jing. Yeah, he's going to die. Khan and Faker together. They got him last time. Can they do it here again? Long Xing buying himself some time, taking Khan into the death realm, but he is shut down. The rest of RNG now recognizing two members of SKT are on that other end of the map. Well, the Twisted Fate will just backdoor. So for yeah. RNG, you're being forced into a very difficult situation where you either try and deal with the side lanes or well, that Khan... a, a Baron. So now they flipped it, actually. Yeah. RNG sends everyone into teleports. Exactly. Being used. This is it. Khan's keeping himself alive very well in this 1v1 right now. Looking to turn things back around Whoa. on to Xiao Hu. Nearly grabbing the kill, will be kept alive. Can Karsa steal? Angel, while SKT is able to find no. themselves in the pit. RNG, they get the kill on the top laner, but Baron goes to SKT. Uzi's off to the side. RNG SKT's not splitting. up the Elder Drake. He's going for the steal. He's going for the steal. He can just get ulted by Long Xing in a, two seconds. Oh, he's going to oh. try to steal. It's so low. It's going to be secured by Carson, but into the pit go two members of SKT. Clint's in stasis. Ming nearly burned down. It's a one for one, and Khan's back alive on the table. And wards. Look at the wave they're coming out from Teddy. Yeah, they have to disengage. This is Can't likely going to be the tower for SKT. RNG knows this is just not hard forcible. And they, and they have no teleports, Flowers. So Faker can just do this for free. Yeah. The recalls take so long. He even gets to see the recalls. SKT, if they had more poke, they'd actually be able to stop more from going back. That's the inhib, and he's out of there. Another Wait, no, TP is they're going for more. Oh, they're all going. going. It's a triple teleport up into the top side oh, for SKT. They want to win. Uzi's going legendary. He's able to find the kill onto the Gragas. SKT are now on the Nexus turret. Well, they got SKT. Blitz. They play the map right, and oh. they find the Nexus. <laughs> the split push ended up paying off for SKT. A single decision, and SKT found the win. Before those minions spawn, I said, look at these teleports. This could be a big difference maker, and the three teleports because they at first tried to team fight.